Hey everyone. So today I saw an interesting question on the Autodesk Maya dynamic form today. Ted asked how to simulate three or more objects where attract each other or orbit each other. Uh, he went on detail to talk about, I understand there's a universal gravity option in Maya 2018, but is there a way to make it three or more objects planets simulate on their own? gravity and therefore attract each other and therefore orbit each other. I'm guessing particles and goals or mash dynamic or constraint may be used, but no amount of OG Googling has shown up an example. Help, thanks. So it's quite a few things to unpack, but the first thing first is I think I will just try to make this simple. I don't think I will go with dynamic option. To simply put, I, I will just simply anim animate this. Uh, let's say I'm having a three planet. Here's the sun, the earth, and the moon. And we'll go ahead and moon, uh, name, we can name these. And here will be the sun. And I think what I will do is we're just simply doing the parent uh, method, right? So now we have, whenever the sun moves, the earth move and then the moon will move along with it. Now to vary up the rotation, uh, I will simply just do a little bit of expression. And currently I know the Y axis is the rotation that I want to do. So, um, so what I can do is right click to create expression, highlight it, minimize track here and I can still, maybe I copy this whole thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just change this to the sun and it's going to, I guess we can do, maybe do like a multiplier, uh, one point, uh, or maybe we can do like, uh, times five. And we'll do create. All right, so what's going to happen is whenever we rotate the sun, you see now the earth is rotating and therefore because the, the moon is also the children of earth and then, you know, you get that rotation as well. So, you know, we can get a little bit more fancy if we like is also adding expression onto this object. Uh, same thing, we'll go there. Rotation Y equals, then I'm gonna just do the earth. And again, we will do multiply, uh, maybe a lot less, or, or we could do a lot more. We can do 50 and then we'll do create. And now we're going back. All right, so then, you know, you have, you have something like this. And supposedly, if you want, you could do keyframe here. Maybe I'll do a lot more frame, let's say 2000. And actually, maybe not, we'll, we'll, we'll do up to, up to 300 or something like that. And then we'll also key here, then what I would do is maybe open up the animation graph editor. And I'll just make this linear and also post infinity. What do I want? Cycle. Need to show my results. Yeah, I don't want the cycle. I need to do cycle offset yeah so then that is gonna just be continuous going and you could do the pre uh pre cycle as well but in this case we don't need that so you know as i play then there you go um you can animate this pretty quickly i guess you know you just add another um planet if you need to Let's just say, you know, the, we want, we want this one to be the Mars 
uh, Mars is a lot farther and a lot bigger, right? And he's going to be under the sun. And yeah, same thing. We could do some expression as well. Copy it equal to. Uh, so this is going to be the sun. And maybe we're not going to do as much as those. We're just going to multiply by two. And let's see how this one goes. Right? So you have you have something like that. It's, I know it's a bit ridiculous with a cube, but... Uh, in addition, I, I know this is getting less controls. You, you could also make, let's say, like a group. And... You know, group can also be offset. Then you don't always, yeah. So you know, you don't always have them all lined up. And you know, I suppose you can look up internet of how much rotation and distance they supposed be, and then um, and then kind of go from there. I don't know the exact rotation and distance and you know relative, but but that's kind of the solution that I. I think I will go with this is probably the easiest and the fastest solution. If you want to talk about um, what was the thing that such a particles and goals, which you could do that. I, I don't, I'm not a particle person. I'm not an effects guy. Mesh, which is kind of similar. I feel like mesh, maybe you could do it. It just depends on what they are for you. Um, I, I noticed that you could put your own a Python script uh, into MASH too. So if you know how to, they say, write a function or um, or um, a wave, some sort of wave uh, function, then you could do it. I, I wouldn't, I, I think dynamic and constraint is not going to work. Um, just doesn't quite make sense to me. I, I feel like dynamic is something, you know, maybe if you want to simulate the breeze and colliding and stuff like that, then you could do it. But if it's just constant motion, rotating and stuff like that, I think the animation is the way to go. Now, I can show you something that might be interesting is... Uh, let's try this one out. What you can try is this... A feel called go back to here the Newton feel. Now the Newton feel is quite interesting. You, if um, yeah, if you just play, it kind of just like you know those atom and then there's a particle kind of circle around and then you know I think I think this is what the Newton feel supposed to be, and but the problem is like it. It kind of go back and forth. It just, you know, one direction, and then you kind of get this spinning thing. But, you know, maybe you need to combine it with another feel. Um, I would say you could try adding like the select a cube, and then we'll add radial feel, something like that, or. I could do a volume axis. We could do a volume axis. Since volume axis is pretty much everything in one anyways. So. I'm trying to get in the same spot. I think I'm just going to do uh, this. There you go. So what I'm gonna do with the volume axis is I'm going to push outwards. So it already is. I can see the arrow um, that's pushing out outwards. So away from center. So yeah, maybe we'll crank up a little bit more. Right. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, but it that yeah, you just kind of get a little weird. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll lower it a little bit. So yeah, you know, again, I think 
you probably want something like this but then more oval shape so maybe something in mesh would give you that but you i i don't know you just have to find it but um some of the fields here you could try um supposedly we can do some turbulence uh, i know volume axis also has some turbulence as well so we can also kind of add a little bit in there but maybe that's a little bit too much seems like it just bounced off Yeah, but you don't know what I mean. Like, so, so we're 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 getting into a simulation area where things you just it's unpredictable. So, I feel like again doing a dynamic could be kind of wonky. Now, definitely something to think about is when you are uh, because when Ted is talking about um, he wants to have its own gravity, uh, obviously. A lot of these dynamics, they do have their gravity. Uh, I mean, the first thing we usually do is adjust the mast, right? Uh, so let's say if I create N cloth. Um, let's see, yeah, the first thing I think I'll create, I'll, I'll deal with is like the mass. Obviously, the heavier it is, heavier the gravity is, right? That's kind of what, um, what we would generally do. Um, so if I come here and then I make this one also in cloth, but then um, what's the mass for this one? One, and then this, I will just make this one 10. So supposedly this will fall faster because you know that's more gravity. Now, if you want, a gravity for planet because right now gravity is it's is in this world and then just goes straight down but if you want a gravity towards the center of the planet then you will need something like uh either um yeah either the newton or the radial the radial like what it does is kind of either push out or um, or suck it in, I guess. And what you can do is like this. Let me see. Let me show you. Right. So I feel like maybe I want to delete these guys. Yeah, so right now it's pushing away. But let's say if like magnitude two is minus five, then it's drawing in, right? And and then so what you can do is you can create another sphere and then you can pair in your radio there. And so that is going to be your quote unquote gravity for that planet. So whenever you move here, then potentially the oh. use max distance maybe not in. yeah so that 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 will be your gravity i feel instead of you know gravity goes downward you want the gravity towards the object um so that's like some 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 things to think about. Let me think. Uh, let me look at your what, what you are searching. Uh, but yeah, yes, there there is a universal gravity. Um, generally, the nucleus is your gravity. Uh, you can. Let's see. I'll, I'll just mention a couple more things. So the nucleus has your gravity and gravity directions. Um, your end cloth has the mass that you can adjust, but let's just say you are using dynamic, you are using the say n particles. Then what you can do is you can ignore solver gravity, 
and then you can create your own fields uh what whichever you need right like the radio the new the gra i mean the gravity will be the gravity again to point downwards so but yeah hopefully um that answers some of your questions and or get you started so good luck take care